hello everybody. Um, this is judging for the uh, Learn Square Time Challenge for the 2D Sequence Illustration course from Patrick O'Keefe. And the challenge was called Plain Squared. So essentially people need to do a digital plane air painting um, based off an image in their gallery, a view from their window, and paint away. Hey everybody, how's it going? I got to say there's some beautiful work here. You really made my job tough to try to um, to pick a winner. But uh, let's take a look at some of this artwork and see what's working and what can be improved on first. Uh, we're going to start with Chin Yang, and I apologize if I mispronounce anybody's name. Um, this is a beautiful piece, and I got to say you really nailed the the hues and the values it really, and that's really some of the most important stuff is your shapes, hues, and values. And you really locked it down, which makes this thing at a glance feel very photographic. Where I think you could find some improvement is in your foliage here. If you could find a way to better simplify your forms um, and group together your darks and lights, it'll help improve your images moving forward. Dan. Uh, beautiful work. I like uh, going after my uh, my own heartstrings with the Spider-Man nod. Um, and I like the addition of bringing in the cranes. I think that you're, you could, this could benefit from a little bit of atmospheric perspective. Um, and by that, I mean lessening your contrast as you move backwards in space. Some of your mid-ground is coming forward with um, and intruding into your foreground. Learning a bit more about atmospheric perspective and staging could help push this image back and make it feel a little more photographic. Let's move on. JD, very cool. Love the palette. Um, very expressive palette. Again, I think where this is kind of uh, coming apart a little bit is in your handling of foliage and the grass. Often we want to go in and paint every single blade of grass and every little leaf when really we can clump it all together as one big mass. Treat it like it's a um, treat it like it's a big pillow or a rug or something. You wouldn't paint every little uh, fiber on the rug. So try to simplify your foliage in places. Love the perspective though, and it's just such a fun image. Jerome, I really love this image. I love that you took something and then changed it and pushed it and made it your own. That's really the key to being an artist, even when it is a plein air study, is don't be afraid to edit the world around us to make a more pleasing and compelling image. I thought your subtle shift from warm blues to cool, cool reds um, in the sky is beautiful, and I love this yellow and um, the, the amount of yellow you're getting in your whites. It's a very striking image and great simplification throughout. Um, if I were to say anything, it's just that some of your background gets a little bit muddy, um, and I think you could just pull it out and make your shapes a little more defined. Kenny, uh, nighttime scene. Love it. Great handling of your values here. <clears throat> when I look back and forth between the reference, the one thing I notice is, especially in that parking sign, um, the way the whites really come through. Uh, in your image, it looks like that sign is being lit from an external light when, in fact, it is a light itself. And so how do we show that those materials have a lighting beneath them and light coming through it? And it's through subtle hue shifts and pushing our hues like that green into that really cool blue, you know, a color that is um, shows that the light is coming through it. It's those little shifts that really help us make things feel photographic, but overall great value structure. Reggie, I love this one. The texture is great and it's super minor, but one of my favorite things is the subtle shift of magenta in the tree line heading back into the mountain range there. Uh, the textures are just beautiful and the shifts where the reflections, um, where the reflection in the water meets the sky it's just great. I also love the way that you um, simplified a lot of the details here. And then that bit of orange on the character and the way you handle the reflection is perfect. Ricardo, I commend you for tackling such a difficult piece and still stylizing it all. 
Um, your value structure is great, and I love how you simplified and made things even more graphic than they than they were. I think in a few places you're still getting a little finicky, where you could make a more direct graphic shape, like in the uh, what looks like a park or the football pitch. Um, some of your perspective seems a little wonky and not the right way, and there's a couple of tangents, but overall this is a very successful image, and again, you tackled such a difficult subject. Roman, a great color palette, and I like the way that you attempted to simplify the water. Water can get, with all those reflections, can get really tricky, um, and you did a great job of just flattening it out and approaching it as swatches of color. Um, <laughs> your clouds are really stylized and kind of break the composition a bit for me because it kind of looks like the earth's been tilted sideways. Um, I think even if a cloud is on an angle, the bottom of it is still usually true to earth and we would see that bottom shadow plane more horizontal to our horizon. Um, I'd love to see this go a little further and break up some of these shapes just a little bit more. And, um, as we get closer to camera, so I have I can truly feel the sense of detail falling off as we move backwards. Rochelle, I wonder where this is. This looks very familiar to me. This kind of looks like Montreal, where I lived for a while. Oh, I think it says New York in the corner. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, you did a great job here balancing. You know, it's very a lot of artists have difficulty dealing with this regular everyday lighting. Um, usually they go for something so stylized and you did a great job of, of handling it, but still filling the space with lots of subtle colors, like in your light and shadow in the bottom left hand corner and bottom right hand corner, um, which is very expressive and I, I really enjoy. Plus you did the, you handled the car well and I hate drawing cars. So I always give respect and props for that. Um, I think that your, tree in the foreground here and foliage is so difficult and I'm seeing a lot of us struggle with it and I know I do. I often find that sort of less is more and you could just simplify those forms. Everything else has been done with such confidence and uh, uh, such confidence with that, the paint application. Um, but here in the tree, it starts to get a little finicky and muddy. I can see your thinking and it would be it's best to kind of like do, if, if you're having trouble with it, like do it off to the side. Then once you know what you need to paint, go ahead and just paint it directly. Beautiful stuff though. Sky, this is great. I really like your simplification here. Um, you've taken a complex form and come up with some beautiful whimsical shapes that break up the space in a very convincing way. As well, I see that you've sort of adjusted the drama of the space as well uh, by adding this subtle hue shift from foreground cools to mid-ground warms, which really helps focus the eye onto the hillside. Um, there's something about your river shape that I'm just not totally convinced about yet. Um, something about it just doesn't feel in perspective. And even if it did follow the, um, the reference perfectly, that's the time where the artist needs to come in and make a decision on how to um, best best design their own space. I think you could probably trim the edge of this a little bit and find a more compelling uh, composition. And so I think that's it. Now we need to decide on some winners, correct? So yeah, so now onto the prizes. Um, so third place is actually three runners up. So who have you got, Patrick? Okay, I'm gonna have to go with um, I'm gonna go with Sky because he did such a great job with the simplification, beautiful stuff, and I love the way that you hand you added that artistic touch and edited the image. Um, Rush Hill, I love the amount of hue and saturation you got into your shadows and still managed to convince me um, of everyday lighting, which is always difficult for the artist. And Kenny. Tackling a difficult subject, doing that nighttime lighting, city lighting, is always difficult. And I think you could push it a little further, but I'm very encouraged with what I see here. So congratulations. Awesome. Okay, then we have we have two second place, right? Uh, no, one. One. 
Okay. We can do two. We can do That's it. I'm breaking protocol. You've, you've all made it too yeah. hard for me. Um, <laughs> so we're going to add a second, second place winner because I, I'm completely torn here. Um, between Jerome, Jerome and Reggie, so forget it. You're both winners. You're too good. Shut up. You're too good. Awesome. Take that off of my uh, my tab. I'm, uh, I'm giving you I'm, <laughs> Reggie. You won me over. You're getting you're getting it. And then I'm gonna have to throw it to the winner because it's so ambitious, and I think that you could get a lot out of the course. Um, because he tackled such a difficult shot and still managed to hold it all together. And I know how difficult it could be. Uh, Ricardo takes the top prize. Beautiful stuff. Well, thank you all very much for entering and doing such great work.